All right, what's going on everyone? I got my little helpers out here with me today again. I got Maddox and Talon. And we went last night way up north from where I live and got a whole bunch of three inch suction hose. We got a killer deal on all this stuff. We use it for our water truck. Well, actually, our, my water truck right now is done up in all two inch stuff um, with two inch pump. And now we are converting it to three inch pump and three inch uh, hose. And, you know, we deliver water for swimming pools and hot tubs in our area. And you want to use suction hose for your discharge hose because it, it, gets it out of the pump a whole lot faster so when I was shopping around to get this because I like to keep about 400 foot of hose on the truck I usually keep uh, right now I only have 120 foot of hard hose uh, that's two inch and the rest is all run flat so I wanted to go at least 100 plus foot of three inch suction hose and the cheapest I could come up with it was like six to seven dollars a foot i can't remember plus i had to buy the fittings and i happened to run across this on marketplace it's already got fittings on it um there is some with strainers um, but it's already got the fittings on it so i mean this stuff to buy it brand new is six to seven dollars uh, a foot plus each end adds uh I think they're twenty dollars a piece, so looking at another forty bucks. So what I'm gonna do here is I think I am gonna sell some of this, but I'm gonna keep about two hundred foot on the truck and then get some run flat. But I need to go through and figure out exactly how much how long all this stuff is. This is all brand new hose. I know it don't look new, but it come from a uh, place way up north from where I live uh, that actually builds water trucks. Um, and this stuff was already pre-cut and just set outside too long and the hose yellowed a little bit. And as you can tell, some of the stuff is ripped open, but almost all of it is saran wrapped on the, the outsides. So it's in good shape and I don't care if it's a little yellow, especially for the price I, uh, I paid for this. I, I think I got well over 400 foot and I got it for under a dollar a foot so uh, I can't complain there um, but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through it I'm gonna get I think these are 10 foot sections maybe a little longer I'm gonna get the sections put together um, and I need to make sure this three inch stuff fits on my water truck the way I have it set up now I'm not too sure because two inches pretty tight because we went to a bigger tank this year um but yeah so let's uh let's get this figured out plus plus what we're going to be doing is um under the tank under the bed we're going to build a storage compartment for some hose um we have to put a air gap on the uh the water truck itself for filling at a certain plant uh that we haul out of um basically it's kind of hard to explain i don't know if, how good this will pick up but basically here is our water tank and this is the hole that we have that water comes in so what they refer as an air gap we got to have a line that comes off and drops down and we got to have this i don't know if you guys can see so this is the water tank this is where the air or where we fill out of and we got to have a line that comes out and drops and we got to have a gap between there so the water will flow in so we got to build one of those um and i think there is maybe a couple fittings i'm gonna have to get um but i'm not sure yet i got i gotta keep an eye on or get, get we gotta get an idea tonight of all the stuff we gotta order for it uh, i know the three inch uh discharge out of the tank i've got those on order i don't know how soon they're going to come in so we're keeping the current two inch setup 
uh, until I get that. Um, and I'm still waiting on a couple other things. Plus, we got older this stuff, so when we go three inch, we'll be ready. But um, yeah, I mean, water season is here for the most part. So um, what we're gonna do today is get some of these set up to where they're good. And then everything that I don't want to keep on the truck, we're going to loop together, close them up, so that way we can pull them outside so they're not taking up the garage. Uh, I got more projects going on than not, uh, than I can even think of. One of my company vehicles I had to pull in, fix the tire, plug it. Oh, plus, plus we got some fire hose from that guy, which sucks because he told me it was three inch, but it's actually two and a half but oh well i'm gonna sell it i'll make my money back on it for sure especially for what i paid for it so let's uh let's work on getting some of this stuff separated huh? all right so i figured out what i want to keep on the truck i'm gonna keep this pile and that on the truck i'm gonna go ahead and sell all of these i am gonna keep one i think two of them total and this is 120 foot of extra i think i might end up keeping and just for if we know we're gonna have big jobs carry it all may may be careful don't do that you'll fall off the stand buddy okay so we keep that i did take one of these out to see if they'd fit on the water truck and they won't so we're gonna have to make some special stakes for it uh i'm thinking about using some four inch channel uh not not real sure yet uh i don't know i'll just have to figure out what comes to mind but really i don't think there's anything i need to to order other than i am going to get some more run flats um i think i can just on these i mean i I got them for so cheap that I can just cut the ends off and splice them on to make my one piece that goes from my tank to my pump. And those, those I'm definitely going to sell. I got 150 foot of two and a half inch fire hose that's got cam locks on it. Thought it was three, but I guess it's not. That's what I get for not reading the, the big bold letters right on the side of it. Two and a half inch. <laughs> Oh well, my bad. But yeah, so uh, I don't think there's anything I'm gonna order for all this. I think we're good. Uh, we get some some run flat stuff, and then we uh, we we should be good. Except for we gotta get this stuff warm and get it straight, so it can stay straight and not uh, be all curled up when we work with it. But really, after one day of running on the water truck where it's sitting in its home, it, it will stay naturally straight because all the two inch stuff i got was curled up like this and after a day it was straight so yeah that's 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 it for right now i'm gonna get all this stuff moved outside and then that way i can get i'm gonna go ahead and join all these together because we'll keep them in we usually 20 foot pieces are what's easy to to manage on the truck so I'm gonna get all these 20 footers together um, and get the rest of this stuff outside. So that way when I get the valve in, we can get the pump installed and we can get the, uh, the valves and the pump on and underneath the bed built out and get our air gap system built. So yeah, and that's the only thing that sucks about our air gap system is we gotta run two inch because that's what plugs into the plant, so. Yeah, so we'll, uh, I'll catch you guys when I get the water truck in here. All right, so we're back on the water truck. It's getting backed in. We're pulling our two inch setup off and we were going all three inch. I believe Tyler last night stopped and picked our three inch pump up. Yep, you can see it in the bed of his truck over there, just barely peeking out. So we're going to start ripping all this uh two inch stuff off we're gonna put a two inch air gap on and get this thing ready to go for the summer 
Sorry, don't know if you guys can see me. Wasn't really paying attention. Still not paying attention. Getting a tripod out of the truck. So let's uh, let's get this stuff uh, ripped off here. Yeah, we'll see how if this spins. Two and a half. Or is that three, two? Well, that's another three. Perhaps two inches. Yeah. Don't oh, do that. Too big. It's probably two and a half. I swore. When I read this stuff, it was. Is it a two? I don't have them bigger than two. They are. I have them bigger than two and a half. I'll have you figure that out. You can get an adapter. You still use this. The problem we're running into is their new three inch valve is the wrong size. So we'll be determined. So, the weird thing of it is, is you can see the threads, the end of the tank, and I measured them once, and they were like three inch, they're three and three eighths. And actual three inch stuff is three and a quarter or an eighth, one of the two. So we got to make this contraption until I can figure out the right size and what we can do with it. So we got that on there. It's kind of going to be temporary for time being. And we got all that on there. Tyler did. So 
Yeah, now we need to get this behemoth on here. Like 45 is all we need. Well, does it do the same thing if you bring it that way? Let me take it that way real quick. Get some threaded pieces and do a 45 there. Awesome. Yeah, off here. All right, come back. All right, so I had to build this bracket here that will house my air gap system for um, the warm water plant we haul out of. You gotta have you gotta have your own hose to fill. So this is what we did. We'll run it underneath the truck. So we have a hookup when we back up against the pump, and then we'll convert it to hard hose, and it will 45 into the tank you got to be able to have a visual gap between the tank and where the inlet comes out so i'm gonna uh, finish getting this bolted up and tightened down that put together so we're working on getting the pipe hooked up all right so we'll get this Put down through the hole
we got slid down through the hole. Now we need to strap it up. We need to cut it and connect it in the bottom side. All right, we got it coming through the floor. Curves up. We got our backflow valve and a air gap. Air gap is a space between the tank and where the water comes out right there. It is a little wiggly. I'm going to put some brackets here. But for right now, that's that's good. We'll throw some brackets on it and she'll be 100% uh, ready to go. And then I will show you where it connects through in the back. And then this is the back of the truck. This is where our pipe will hook in. We still got to strap it down back here, but we'll hook our special hose we got that goes to the plant. And then that'll be good to go. Well, we finally got this all figured out. This has just been a royal nightmare because I think I said in the beginning of the video, or when we first started it, it was wrong size. This should have took 20 minutes, but instead it just took five hours and a trip to town. So Tyler's working on bolting the pump down, and we got to finish getting hoses and stuff together, and then we'll go get a load of water with it and see how she does. I'm hoping that that two inch restriction right there won't interfere with it. So I don't know. We'll see, but we'll get this finished bolted down. We gotta get oil in it, fuel in it, and then we'll see. This should speed up. Uh, this thing should do another, I think it does a hundred more gallons a minute than uh, two inch. So. That's what we're hoping for, at least. All right, well, we got the water truck done. We got the air gap up there. I know, it looks absolutely stupid. I can't stand it. And we got 120 foot of hose on here. And our three inch pump. This guy here is a lifesaver. This is a special end I kind of came up with last year so that way you can just hook it set it on the pole kind of just set it in the the rim of the pole and they don't blow everywhere so we got it all set up it's getting later in the day we don't feel like uh, hauling a load because I need a load for my pole so we can back flush it and clean it out and get it ready for the summer uh, we have already been hauling water this year so far um but yeah that's just took us way too long right there what well, buddy name is coming over oh well i don't know what you did with them but that took us way too long to get all figured out um should have just screwed right on but i don't know what the deal is there i'm gonna have to do some research and actually what size it is because it's an mpt MBT National Pipe Thread pitch. So 
I should have been three inch, but it's way different than all the other three inch stuff I got. So that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.